everybody and welcome back to my channel, Pixelli. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a tour on my Italian spring mansion. I recently had built this a couple weeks ago and I am really proud of the final result. So I decided that I'm going to be giving you guys a tour on this house. So as you can see, this is what the front of the house looks like. Um, I really like it actually. It's not my best build, but it's definitely high up on the list. Um, so let's just get right into the tour, I guess. So as you can see, I have this big old fence in front of it. And literally, when I'm doing role plays, I'm trying to block kids out there from keep asking me if I can adopt them. And I literally don't know how to keep kids out. I've tried everything, I've tried fences, um, I have signs. I literally don't know what to do because it gets really annoying after a while. So that's what's there, but it's really no help. Anyways, so when you come inside the fence, this is what it looks like. I really like it. So the first thing you see is this fountain that is lower, different on a level. I actually really love this hack. I actually just made it up. Uh, I didn't really know how I was going to proceed with it, but I got this idea. And if you would like a tutorial on how to do it, just let me know. And yeah, so I have a mailbox over here because it's more convenient than going outside the fence over to where my mailbox actually is. So I put one there, and yeah. So as you can see, I have two garage doors. One garage door is for the family car, and the other one is more for like the kids' toys, bikes, scooters, etc. So and now let's go inside for the house tour. So if we first come up to the entrance, this is what the entrance of the house looks like. And then I love this thing that I did up here. I really love the aesthetic of the florals. I'm obsessed. So when we go in, this is the first thing you see. You see the big grand staircase, I would describe it as, which I really like. Um, I've never done this in any of my houses, to be honest. I'm usually building modern ones, but I like it. So first, when you come over here to your left, we have the kitchen. And so before you actually go into the actual kitchen, we have this little seating area. Then I just have this area for decoration to fill some wall space. Then it comes the actual kitchen. So this is the view of the kitchen. I absolutely love it. Um, it's actually pretty basic in my opinion, but it still has the same aesthetic. My basic aesthetic that I was going for this is like the tan, browns, pink, sage, and like the linen and white. I really like that all together, especially with the floral vibe. Um, I'll probably be building like a mini beach house soon, so stay tuned for that video. Then over here I have the dining room, which is connected from the kitchen. But before we go there, I also have this little, it's not a hack idea, but it looks pretty cool. It's like this little like nook over here where I have a bunch of snacks, the microwave, and like basically all my appliances go over here. So I have a little bit more counter space over here besides like the coffee station. And then I just have some snacks for the kids on the counter. So then if we come over here, I just have this little, like, I don't even know what it's called, but, like, where I keep all my dishes and stuff and, I don't even know. I'm not trying. Then, finally, we have the dining room table where we'll sit around to have a family dinner. Um, to be honest, when I first built this house, I literally had so many kids. I didn't have enough seats here, so some were sitting at the counter. Um living room it was just a bad idea but i was so excited about the first house build not this is not my first house but like the how big and how i thought how good it looked from scratch blah blah, blah. so that's it was a mess to be honest so that's the dining room now if we go back out where we started we'll head straight back so over here this is kind of just a chandelier that goes up from two stories then over here leads to the backyard. It's basically like a shotgun house, but it isn't. Um, so over here, you just have a little seating area where you can like grab your swimsuit, grab a towel to go outside. Then if you turn around, we have the dog bed with some dog toys. And then we have a little hat rack where you hang the dog's leash and stuff. Then the pictures, um, they don't match the house. I know they don't. I'm just obsessed with that right now. But if we go outside, and I'm so sorry I'm like filming this while it's raining, we have an overview of the backyard. So the first thing you see is this big old pool I built. I mean, it could use some more detail, 
I was just like out of it. But anyways, I have this big mountain with these waterfalls. That I also have a diving board, floaties, you know, maze. I haven't really seen round pools in Bloxburg a ton, so I tried to do that. Then of course some lounge chairs laying around the pool. Then if we turn around, we kind of have the kids area where they can play and stuff. So there is a fence so the babies can't just crawl in there. But if you come in here, I have the slip and slide, which is a new feature of the Bloxburg, which I think it's a great idea for the summertime. The kids love it. I was thinking about even like putting it near the pool would be a cool idea. Over here, I have a sandbox for the babies to play in. Then, of course, the swing set, um, my favorite. It's actually really fun. And it's actually better instead of buying just like the actual swings because you can basically use it anywhere um, on any plot if you just need it. I don't know. It's a better bang for its buck. So that's basically it. Now let's head back. Actually, I wanted to show you what the back of the house looks like. I'm a mirror, so I actually want to show you guys it because it's actually so bad. And yes, there is three stories to this house, but there's no access to the third floor because it just didn't work out. So and now we're going to go to where we started again, but to the right, which is basically the opposite of the kitchen. So opposite of the kitchen, we have our living room. So over in the living room, first we have this little area which just has, it's basically like my workstation or where the teenager will work. Then we have our fancy piano where the kids can practice piano lesson and stuff like that. So now as we make our way, this is an, kind of, I keep saying this, but it's an overview of what our living room looks like. So I really love our living room. It gives me some sort of vibe that I really can't explain, but I do like it. I mean, it could be tweaked, but it's pretty good. So this is just an overview. And this is what the back of the living room looks like. And here's what the side is. I feel like I always have so many kids, so please don't mind all the chairs laying around. So um, the attachment off the living room is a bathroom right here. So you come in here, um, we have a walk-in shower, um, double vanity sinks, and then a mirror. I, mean, I don't remember what kind of mirrors those are. They look here. Yeah, then I have blinds so people can't see it. And blinds are very helpful for stalkers that stalk your house and can't and keep staring at you. Alright, so and now let's head upstairs. So this is what the upstairs looks like. Um, I don't know how I feel about these string lights. I could like them, but I'm not sure. Then basically I tried to make the sides kind of look identical. So yeah, so let's first start over here. So the first room we have here is the upstairs bathroom with the tub for the baby. This area, then the toilet, and just the vanity. Then next we have the first wing of the house. And the first room we have here is the nursery. So the theme of the nursery is white, pink, and yellow. Um, each of the rooms kind of have their own theme. So this is the baby room. Um, I really do like it. I keep some spare bottles up here, changing table. Then kind of like the play area over here, which I actually do like. The next room we have is a kid bedroom. It can actually be any type of bedroom, I'd say. But this room is the frog themed room. I love it so much. I don't know why, just like the aesthetic appeals to me so much and I don't know why. But, so we have this cool area where I did the hack with the pillows. And basically, yeah. So this is what it looks like. That side's pretty basic, but I love this. And I love the edit, whoever did that. It's wonderful. So, yeah. Now we're going to head over this way. So this room is a little pop-up room, I would say. Because it wasn't really planned. But if I have another kid or a spare bedroom, they would go in here. This is basically all to the room so yeah next we have when we come out of this room we have this long hallway but through this long hallway that we have a balcony there's nothing up on the balcony but you know you can stand out here and get a some fresh air now to the other side of the house so opposite from the bathroom we have a laundry room and so yep this is everything now to the second wing of the household. So the first room over here is the girl's bedroom. 
For this room, I went with a theme of white and pink. So there are two beds in the girls' bedroom. And so I feel like they're both very unique, so there's no fighting over which one's better. So this one is just up higher, but nothing special about the bed. This one's down lower with fancy pillows. So I feel like you're, you're getting equal share. Then we have two PCs for them to do work, a full-length mirror. Then they have their own bathroom, double vanity. Then they also have a double shower. It reminds me of like going to like a pool place. But I really liked it. It just reminded me of summer, and I, of course, I built this during summer. So, yeah. And the next room up here is my bedroom. So my bedroom, I feel, has like a boho theme to it. So this is my bed. I also did the pillow hack. You're going to see that everywhere. Um, you need to have advanced placing to be able to do the pillow hack. And I use the round bush to do that. Then over here, I have my fireplace, my clothing rack. And then I have my own makeup vanity. Then attached to here, I have my own bathroom. And yeah. That is basically it for the house. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that is it for the whole house tour. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.